Hi guys, this is Priyanka. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for watching my videos and today I'm gonna be reviewing another website and this website is alitify.com as you can see in the title. And I usually do a lot of street shopping and affordable hauls. I also do enjoy uh, luxury shopping and this is a website which carries a huge variety of uh, luxury products and brands which are not available in India and obviously the best way to um, get any brands, international brands which are not available in India is to have somebody pick them up from you uh, when they're coming to down India or when you go abroad but uh, if you're like me and who does not have people coming in all the time then uh, this is a great option. I wouldn't really suggest uh, shopping makeup from this place because I feel it's a little more expensive and now we have a lot of uh, other options like Instagram stores and I feel that those are uh, priced slightly lesser compared to some sites. There are a couple of other uh, luxury shopping sites in India who deliver uh, within India and you don't have to pay the taxes and all the prices shown in the website are included uh, with the taxes and so it avoids the whole mess. But also one more thing is that uh, these are a little expensive compared to what the original price is when you purchase them in that particular place. Uh, like if it's a US brand then yes obviously it is priced lesser <laughs> in, in US and there are a lot of sales like Black Friday sale or uh, during Christmas sale when the prices do come down a little more. So yeah uh, the prices are a little higher compared to the original price but uh, if you have no other option and if you do want to pick up some high end brands then I think this is a really good website. So the prices do keep fluctuating so uh, I'm going to run you through the entire process but I think the best time to purchase anything from this website is during the sale because the prices are quite good. And I wouldn't say that all the products are priced really low or equal to that of US or whatever country that brand comes from but uh, the prices are comparatively better during the sale. So what I do is I go on the website and um, click on the sale or uh, whatever option uh, and then choose the category of products that you want to look or just look at all the products and uh, when you open the product it uh, shows the entire product description um, from the measurements to what sort of material it is and then the details about delivery and the prices are also mentioned sometimes if they are already in their warehouse then the delivery takes about uh, 3 to 5 days like any other product which you purchase in India and the best part is that they do have COD and uh, I think that's the best way to purchase anything online if you're trying for the first time and especially if you're, trying, uh, if you're paying such a high price and if there is any problem with the uh, shipping then it's absolutely crazy so I would always suggest uh, to <laughs> choose COD whenever you're purchasing from any new website. So I go click on the product and then um, the price is displayed over there so immediately I go and uh, check for this particular product on the brand website and some of the local stores in that particular country like, uh, if, like if it's for US brands like uh, Michael Kors then I'll go check their website and compare the prices with uh, the price on the brand's website and also check some local sites like um, like Nordstrom or Macy's. I go and check those particular websites and compare the prices and make sure that I'm not paying too much. Uh, so if I do feel that the price is uh, decently higher than the original price or equal to the original price on the website then I pick up these products otherwise I do not. <laughs> So that's just one thing that I wanted to mention because sometimes the prices can be really crazy. But uh, if you are okay with that then obviously you can go ahead. But I feel that uh, sometimes I feel that it's really a good option to purchase them during the sale so so that you get, at a, you get them at a better price. <laughs> So I've personally purchased a couple of products from this website that's the reason I wanted to review it uh, and I've checked the monograms with the original bags of a similar model which are which were purchased from the actual brand store so that I know that that's original and so I compared the monograms and from the look and feel of the bag or uh, any product you'll be able to tell that whether it's original or not. So yes, as of now I've never received any fake product from this particular uh, website. Uh, these, again a disclaimer, these were not all products which I purchased at one go. These were something I purchased over a period of time whenever they had sale or whenever I felt like the prices are pretty decent. 
so that's about it and i'm going to show you guys what all i've purchased from this website and i'll leave the prices here and also i'll leave the links to them in the description box in case they are still available on the website so uh, anything that you purchase from l85 comes in a box like this and it's wrapped with a black bow and it comes in like a packaging with the gift with this bow and the bigger bags have come in huge boxes so the first thing that i wanted to show you guys is ted baker bag and um this is the usual classic model of ted baker bag so yeah it has the logo here and the bow and even on the inside it has something printed um i just put a cardboard box inside so that it doesn't get folded and uh yeah so all these bags or anything that you purchase from the website uh, mostly does come with uh, the tags and um also i'll leave a link to their uh, return policy so make sure to check the return policy before you uh, order anything out uh, i initially ordered a plain ted baker bag without a bow and then it had a scratch on it it arrived damaged and i wrote to them and then uh, they asked me to send back the product uh, so they sent me the bag and then they arranged for a reverse pickup where they picked up the damaged piece so, so the bag which i had initially ordered uh, a plain red baker bag without the bow was out of stock by then uh, by the time they were sending it so they sent me this and then second day i have a bag from juicy couture and um, it came with a dust bag and i think i got this bag for around 9000 i'll list the exact price here so yeah this is how the bag looks and it's a very nice bag sure. and i really like the animal print i think it looks really beautiful by all the bags from juicy couture I'll, some of them are a little too fluffy and too pink but i think this is wearable i use this for work sometimes and when i'm hanging out or i'm just stepping out so it has a very nice uh, button here and then when you open it up uh, this one uh, doesn't have a zip to hold everything that's one disadvantage but yeah so i put these all papers inside usually so that the uh, bag doesn't change form uh, so yeah it has all the logos and everything and this one also has the juicy couture tag it came with the tag and i kept the tag for this because i wanted to show you guys in the video uh, i've checked closer pictures of the bag before i purchased it to make sure that i am not receiving a fake product just in the description the material is also mentioned so if you're looking for something which is genuine leather or whatever quality of leather and whatever new models that you see on the website uh, so these are usually not old stock these are the same handbags or the same products which are released uh, in the particular season by the brand so you can see the same products on the website as well so i think that's easier to compare and uh, figure out what you want to purchase it all was uh, priced at around 30000 or something on the website and then during the sale also it was priced around uh, 11000 or 12000 on juicy couture website and juicy couture or i don't know how that is pronounced i think i'm pronouncing it right but yeah so it was priced uh, around 15000 or 11000 on the website and i also checked uh, macy's and other websites and i felt that the price was quite decent so that's when i went ahead and purchased that so this is the next purchase that i wanted to talk about this is the um, monocross this is the michael kors wristlet and has michael kors engraved here and it also has uh, michael kors engraved here as well and so you can check all these signs to just make sure that you know by purchasing the original product and not fake it has michael kors here as well and even this wristlet had come with uh, the tags on and i cut off the tag obviously because i've used this a couple of times so were the major purchases of mine from lady5 and i was looking to purchase uh, some footwear I was looking at ted baker uh, footwear and uh, michael kors as well but i did not find anything that i felt fitted my uh, 
price range and I also felt that they were priced too high compared to the actual website. So yeah, uh, I'll move on and I'll show you guys what else I got from this website. I wouldn't really suggest you to buy makeup from here unless you think that they're priced really quite well. So they do keep having sales all the time so make sure to keep checking the website. <laughs> if you guys have seen a couple of videos of mine, you guys know that I love Bath & Body Works and Victor has secret products. So I got, uh, I got these two products. Uh, this is from Bath & Body Works and this is the Lemon Pomegranate Cream um, Fine Fragrance Mist and this is the uh, body lotion. I got these because I was looking for something which smells like Sweet on Paris from Bath and Body Works which was discontinued and I read somewhere online on some reviews that these smell a little similar so I purchased these and they do not smell <laughs> anywhere close to Sweet on Paris but they're quite okay. -ish. I do not love them but um, they're quite good. There are a lot of other uh, fragrances from Bath & Body Works which are that smell really really good and I do not love this. But it's very citrusy with a little hint of uh, fruity notes. Uh, and the last product that I got from L85 is this Bath & Body Works candle in the variant um, Caribbean uh, Escape and this smells amazing but I do think that these are priced a little higher on L85. I've used it quite a lot and this is the mini candle so to wrap it up in conclusion i would not uh, i wouldn't suggest you to buy makeup or bath and body works products from l85 but i think you can go ahead and purchase anything that is priced uh, quite well quite decently well compared to the brand's website uh, i think that's all the products that i got from l85 and I hope this video was useful. Uh, do let me know in the comments below what other videos you would like to watch. And um, I am <laughs> working on the DIY chokers video and a couple of other exciting videos coming up. Uh, so please do stay tuned and make sure to find me on uh, social media platforms as well so that you don't miss out on any updates. I'll leave the handles here and also if you're not subscribed to my channel yet then please do subscribe so that you don't miss out on the videos. <laughs> And also let me know in the comments below how you like this video because this is something different from what I usually do. I think I've reviewed only street style store uh, till now but I have a couple of affordable websites coming up uh, which I also want to review. Uh, but yeah, do let me know what you think about this video because it's slightly different from what I usually do. So that's all for today's video guys. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next video. Bye.